Hello Cancers, how are you doing? I hope you are doing marvelous. So we are going to take a very brief look at the current energies for today with love, um, with whatever else spirit wants to bring towards this reading or bring towards you today. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading pertaining to love, pertaining to um, how to move forward in a situation, please look in the description box below and you could um, log into my website. Um, and also, please be sure to subscribe and like if you feel like this resonates with you, okay? What's going on in love currently with my beautiful Cancerians? Cancer, Sun, Moon. <laughs> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. Why is this person still holding on to you, Cancer? Someone's holding on to you very tightly. I feel like someone here is holding on to you, and I feel like for some of my cancers, this person could be holding you back, okay? And of course, you know, we have free will, right, cancers? But I feel like this is someone, and I'm just going to be very honest with you, this could be someone here that may be holding you back um, towards self-discovery, um, holding you back towards going after what's best for you. And a lot of you may not feel that or may not agree with that, but that's the energy that's popping in here. I feel like a lot of you decided to step away from a situation and give it the space that it needed and give it the time it needed to grow. And it's interesting because I feel like this person either pulled you back in or is attempting to pull you back in through conversations, through text messages, through um, a very, very sneaky way of trying to get you back. It's like this person knows that you have the tools of, you know, detaching from them and you have the tools of being greater. And it's like, for some reason, this person is still wanting to be in your energy. Not saying that this person's a bad person, but I feel like for some of you, they may, they, there may be a better path or a better option for you. But I feel like this person feels like you are supposed to be part of their journey. Okay. And uh, for some of you, you're feeling like it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with this person pulling me back because this is the person I'm manifesting. So a lot of you could be manifesting this person. And I feel like this person is um, wanting you in their life. Okay. Now, again, I'm getting this energy of you asking yourself, like doubting this person at times, like, can I trust this person? Can I really build a future with this person? Okay, that's, that's what I'm getting here. This person could be very controlling in terms of how they express themselves, how they go about opening up in love. Um, and I feel like this person tends to need your help because you're different. All right. And you could also see through them. So there's something very powerful about you, Cancer, that keeps this person in this place of wanting you to stay in this energy of stagnancy. OK, for some of you, you feel like you can't stop thinking about this person at times. All of a sudden, um, I feel like this person's in that energy as well. They could be stuck in a situation, a financial situation or a legal situation here or another relationship. But I feel like this is someone it's like I'm trapped here and I'm hoping that you could help me. That's for some of you. It's like this person is trying to figure out what it is that they want in life, in relationships. And there's something different about you, Cancer. This person could be still stuck on someone in their past or this person got into a relationship that really doesn't make any sense and now they're trying to figure out how to come out of it and they're like peeking um you know watching you peeking into your windows trying to figure out what's going on with you yeah i feel like this person is wow hoping and wishing that you could help them through some of their difficulties in life here. It's, in, it's a very interesting energy, Cancer. Now, I will say for you, Cancer, there's something about this connection um, at times um, makes you rethink about giving this person another chance. Some of you do think about this person a lot, especially when they're communicating. I do see you actually wanting to give this person a second chance, but because of their vibes or their selfishness or because of their um, stubbornness at times, it's hard to work with someone like this. This person could be someone that's looking for a family or you just saw a family with this person. All right. What is one of the obstacles with this person, this past person here? What was the obstacle? 
give me the obstacle. This person's really worried about their looks, worried about how people view them. This is someone that likes attention. Yeah, this is someone that likes a lot of attention. This is someone, again, it's like they possibly have pulled in other people into the connection. Now, I will say this is someone that's very determined, very hardworking at times. But I feel like one of the obstacles were this person always wanting to have options or always feeling like something else is better at times. And I feel like this person starting to realize that wasn't a good idea. This is someone that goes out and, you know, they love, they love attention. There's something about attention that this person desires and needs a lot. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some more, please. What is the actions that we could expect from this person? Wow. This person can't stop thinking about you. Two of Cups energy. All right. Um, for some of you, there isn't any action. All right. I feel like there's no actions here, but I feel like this is someone here that feels like you're moving forward. All right. We have um, pets here. This person feels like you're moving forward. This person feels like you're focused on yourself. You're doing great. But for some reason here, this person can't stop thinking about you because when they look at you, they see real love. They see harmony. They see peace. They see longevity. They see a pure energy. But it's like they're struggling with change. Okay? I feel like this person's struggling with change. A lot of you uh, also may be saying to yourself, has this person changed at all? <laughs> right? I'm wondering if this person has changed. Now, I will say, Cancer, this person can't stop thinking about you. And one of the reasons why they can't stop thinking about you and they're, you know, looking at you as their person from afar here and not really doing much is because they're still stuck in something. There's still something going on in their mind, whether it's an addiction, whether it was a bad decision, whether it was or is fear. It's holding them back from connecting. Okay. Now, I feel like a lot of you have really um, mastered the energy of giving someone space or giving people space which leaves a lot of, you know, space for someone to breathe, right? It's, it gives someone space to figure themselves out, find themselves, all right? I feel like a lot of you are not going to be really persuaded into that energy of jumping into things very quickly any longer here. We have the Five of Cups. A lot of you are choosing to walk away from this situation. Something really hurt you. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces, another Cancer as well. All right, we have a fire sign here. We have Taurus. Either way, I feel like you've... You're, it's like I don't have any more tears. I don't have any more tears. I'm very disappointed in the way things have gone, how things are going. And at some point, Cancer, I feel like you're going to have the confidence to move forward, visit family, connect with loved ones. Put yourself out there, okay? Especially moving into August, September here in the fall energy. I feel like you're going to take your energy back, your strength back and say, thank you, universe. I appreciate this lesson. I appreciate connecting with this person, but I don't feel like they're allowing me to evolve to my higher self. Some of you are saying that. Some of you are actually going to hear this person out because I feel like, again, there's a very strong connection but we have to question compatibility because someone here, it's like they can be manipulative at times, okay? And I feel like this person's regretting the fact that you're letting them go, okay? It's like I'm looking at this as if it's over. Some of you have made a decision to completely end this in terms of I don't look at this person the same any longer. I mean, it hurt, but it's something that I needed to do. But I feel like this person is trying to figure out the best way to get back into your soft, like your, your soft spot, I should say. Okay, let's get some more on this connection. And then we can look into new energies. Anything else for this connection? Thank you. Yeah, this person could be contacting you for your birthday or thinking about you on your birthday. Some of you feel like, you know, you spent a lot of alone time on your birthday here. Or you feel alone, you feel like you don't have anybody, or you didn't really do much for your birthday. Or this person didn't contact you 
and that could have been a turning point for you or this person really didn't show you much attention or love someone here is trapped somewhere it's like i'm trapped in my mind i'm trapped in fear i'm trapped in the materialistic world i keep thinking about you nostalgia this person is it, they're hoping and wishing that you would say something or you would give them a chance but i feel like for some of you it's like well i gave you like 89 20 30 40 50 60 chances and you kept on showing me that you were still trapped and unfaithful to yourself to us you weren't making me a priority you barely even call me to check to see how i'm doing right how is my cancers doing at this time current energy very secretive third party someone here keeps th thinking about someone else in a relationship here for some of my cancers you're wondering if this person has someone else or what's going on with this person's relationships it's like you keep thinking about that you're drowning in that energy you may not be talking about it but your emotions are connected to that you could feel like this person's family members are involved or there's too many other players involved here or you feel like this person has moved on or this person is contributing to other people okay but i feel like you're in a space where it's like i'm trying to not even think about that right now but unfortunately it's something that i do think about i wonder if this person moves moved on here okay i feel like this person is someone tell me more about this person tell me more about this person very secretive energy this person secretly feels like there's still hope with you okay i feel like if this person reaches out to you please be sure to take your time with this energy okay spirit is saying learn how to give space back off practice non-interference and the reason i'm saying this is because i feel like this person still wants to connect with you but i also feel like this person is still having some sort of secret agendas or there's some sort of secret energy. This person's not really coming forward and expressing themselves, telling you what they're thinking late at night, telling you what they're going through. It's like this person still hasn't opened up fully. Okay? And I feel like some of you, this person may be going through a growing process. All right? This person could have went to prison or on the verge to go to prison. I feel like this person is so stuck in their mind. They can't come out. So it could be with their sexuality or something about, I cannot come out of this. What can't you come out of? I'm so stuck, Silavi. I'm stuck in my mind. I'm stuck because I want to say more. I want to connect with you. I want to tell you how much I miss you. But I'm struggling. Yeah, this person's going through something here. This could be you, Cancer. Someone here could have an addiction that's really intense and they don't know how to deal with it. Or, you know, some sort of depressive energy that's surrounding them. Someone here could have lost someone here as well. Someone here could also be in a relationship and they know that it's a failed relationship and they don't know how to get out of it. Okay. All right. Let's get some energies for my singles. All right. Let's see what's going on with my singles. Let's see what the vibe is for that. Tell me what's going on with my singles that are connecting or my singles that may be talking to someone but not in a relationship What's the vibe here oh wow some of you here are going to meet someone at work or you're going to hmm who is this person i feel like a lot of you could connect with an earth sign here fire as well i'm getting aquarius energy too but i'm getting there's someone here that you may start talking to getting to know that's actually wanting to pursue something with you here this could be somebody that's very goal orientated or could be somebody that is very committed very observant energy i feel very knowledgeable okay this could be somebody that um could be very talkative as well all right but i see a lot of you taking your time with this person could be a pisces that you're connecting with okay you're questioning this energy tell me more about love for my singles 
I just got a message. For some of you here, you're rethinking your position at work or you're rethinking, you know, possibly changing your, your career. There's something about work here. It's like I feel differently about this career path here. I'm looking at it differently. I'm looking at these people differently here. There's someone that you may meet that may introduce you into a whole new direction. Okay. Love for my singles. Love energy. Anything for love. Thank you. Oof. Yeah. A lot of you are meeting someone new. God. I'm meeting someone new here. Okay. This is going to be someone that's very honest. This is going to be someone that's open to getting to know you. All right. This is someone here that you're going to feel their honesty. Okay. Um, now, one of the things, this person could have heavy air and earth in their chart and water too. Okay. I feel like there's just going to be a lot of options coming your way. A lot of you are going to seek help seek direction, put, you know, actually travel, actually start connecting with old friends or making new friends. But I feel like for a lot of you here, there's someone here that you're going to meet. And I feel like this is going to be someone that has a lot of emotions for you. And I feel like this relationship is going to be different. It's going to bring in a different vibe. It's going to bring in a different energy of teamwork. You're going to feel like this person's emotionally expressive this person wears their heart on their sleeves for some of you it may scare you but i feel like there's going to be a date like we're going out on a date here and could be some sort of like wine tasting or something very creative that you two may start to do or this person likes to draw or this person is a very creative person okay for some of you here this could be a pisces it could be a scorpio or I'm getting Aquarius vibes, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus as well, but I'm getting that this is someone here that is going to bring out a different side of you that you're actually going to enjoy, okay? Let's get some messages here and see what Spirit has to say. What are the messages coming from this person, okay? This past person here. I know that we are still deeply connected, I feel like for this new person too, they're going to feel like there's something very different about you and they're going to be very talkative. It could be someone that asks a lot of questions. It's like, you'll feel like, wow, is this like, you'll have your guard up here. This is someone here. It's like, I dreamt about this person. So it's going to feel like it's deja vu for a lot of you. It's going to just feel different. For your past person here, I feel like this person's dreaming of you, thinking of you, daydreaming about you, knowing that they made a full-blown mistake. Okay. Can we get one more, please? For my viewers. Thank you. <laughs> so we have, you are the only one that truly gets me. All right. I feel like this is someone here that feels like there's something about your energy that's very nurturing and loving very understanding you're different from their past lovers you're very sensual and compassionate and you're someone that allows other people to show you exactly what it is that they're looking for in a relationship so you're going to bring out the best in this person by allowing this person to actually work with you as a team it's not going to be one-sided i'm not going to be the one doing everything okay and this past person i feel like feels like you're the only person that truly understands them because you've seen their flaws you've seen some of their you know disadvantage disadvantages here but at the same time i don't know cancer i'm not too sure what choice you're going to make of course there's free will here but there's a new person that's coming in that is so powerful in terms of the way that they connect with you so you just have to be open some of you could meet this person while you're traveling as well or while you're out for a walk there's something about walking or something about shop like there's like an outdoor event okay all right i'll talk to you soon have a beautiful one um happy birthday to those that are watching all right and happy belated birthday as well i love you and have a good one